Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at the vendor down payment process with purchase order integration. So I am here in the Fiori Launchpad and we will first create a new purchase order via application ME21N. Click on this one. Please be aware that you can only utilize this application for a purchase order with down payment. You cannot use the new application called Manage Purchase Orders that I explained to you in another video as of now. So we will insert our supplier who is a business partner we created before and hit on enter. By the way, if you want to find out more about business partners, I will leave you a whole playlist of mine in the description of this video. We will insert a purchasing organization purchasing group and a company code. And then here in the header section, we will navigate to payment processing. Click on this one. And over here we can see a drop down menu for the down payment category and we will choose mandatory down payment. Hit on enter. Now you can see a couple of more fields appeared. First of all, here we can define the down payment amount in percent. So this is the percentage amount paid before our vendor will actually hand over the goods to us. So I will just say 10% for now. Instead of defining a percentage, we could also define an amount over here like 10,000 euro. Then we have the due date. So when the down payment is due, let's say immediately, that's basically it. Now we go to the line item details. We insert our material as well as a quantity, a price per piece. Let's hit enter and let's go to the right. Let's insert a plant, hit on enter again. By the way, most of the information could also stem from a purchasing info record, for instance. I explained you this in a couple of other videos. I will leave you the links in the description of this one. Let's hit on enter a couple of times. So all of this is fine. So this means that in the end, we will purchase a quantity of 10 for an end price of 10 each. Also here in the conditions tab, we can now see this purchase order has a net value of 100 and the gross price of 119 including taxes. However, 10% of this amount will be due before the goods are actually shipped to us. So now we click on save and you can see the purchase order was created. Let's actually copy this number over here. Please be aware that in this instance, we defined our down payment here in the header section. However, we are also able to define the down payment for the line item level. So let me just show you where this is done. So if we scroll down a bit and open the item details here, then you can see in the invoice tab that there is the same drop down menu as you've seen before in the header section. So this means that in the end we have two options. Either we do it on header level or on line item level. Please be aware that if the payment is added at the header level, then the header data cannot be distributed to the line item data. This is because the down payment on the header level is not split onto the item level, meaning that down payment is retained for the whole purchase order and not just single items. Okay, next off we will navigate to the application called Monitor Purchase Order Down Payments. Here we can monitor all of our purchase order down payments. We will select the right currency and also the company code. And here in the search bar, we will insert now our purchase order number that we copied before. Click on go. And here you can now see our purchase order with down payment that we created before. You can also see the line items over here. So now we will select our line and then we will click on create down payment request. We will now create such a request because this is necessary for our payment run. And by that, we state that the vendor requires us to pay a certain amount upfront. We will insert a journal entry date. You can see here the right suppliers already selected. And of course, we need the target special general ledger indicator. Let's inspect the details by clicking on this button over here. This is because when I created a business partner beforehand, I chose a general ledger account that is mapped to this general ledger account over here. You can also find out more about the customizing in another video of mine regarding down payments without purchase order integration. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. So make sure to check it out. So far, so good. Let's inspect the warning messages over here. We can see the tax code must be set to 160. So let's actually click on propose tax amount and then that's it. Now we can click on post again. You can see the journal entry was created. We can actually display it via this button. And here we can see that a down payment request was posted. So far, so good. We will now go into the payment run. So we go to the application called manage automatic payments. Select this one, click on create parameter, give it an identification create. I have a whole playlist about payment runs, so I will just leave you the playlist in the description of this video. We will include the company code, the payment methods, which are also stored in our supplier master, and that's basically it. Select additional log and save. Now we will click on schedule, proposal, start immediately and schedule. We can see that we can post a document. Let's actually inspect the details. So here, if we scroll down and a bit to the right, you can see that we would pay the expected 10 euro in advance. So this is fine. 
Let's actually go back and back again. Select the line, click on schedule payment, start immediate fee and schedule. Now we can inspect the payment and here we can see 10 euro were transferred. By now we created our purchase order with down payment integration. We posted the down payment request and we also paid the down payment. Now let's imagine that the supplier delivered the goods. So we will post a goods receipt. Let's go to the application called post goods received for purchasing document. Select this one. Over here we just need to insert our purchasing document number that we saved before this one. You can see one material document was created. We can actually inspect this one by clicking on it. And here we can see the details. We can also click on process flow to see that by now we created the purchasing document. We also created a material document and of course the accounting document was derived as well. Now let's imagine that the supplier sent us his invoice. So we will actually now create the invoice. Therefore we navigate to the application called create supplier invoice. Select this one. I explained you this application before in another video of mine. So I will spare you with the details. If you are interested, I will leave you a link in the description of this video. So let me just insert here the invoice date and then the invoicing party, which is our vendor. A reference is required. And then the gross invoice amount will be 100. And here we will insert the purchase order that we created before. Now the balance went down to 19. This is because of the taxes. So let's actually adjust the gross invoice amount to 119, including the taxes, click on check and that's fine. So now the balance is green. The system informs us again that the down payment exists, but this is okay. So we can actually click on post. You can see a supply invoice was generated. We can even inspect the invoice via this button. And quite convenient is that we can click on journal entries. And here we can see both the invoice received and the journal entry created out of the purchase order. If we click on this button and then on restart flow from this document, then we can see the whole process flow, also including the receiving part, if we scroll down a bit, with the goods receipt we posted before and the invoice receipt we created, as well as on the accounting side, the down payment request and the actual down payment that we processed with the Manage Automatic Payments application. Also, you can see that another document was created automatically to clear the down payment. Now, before we can pay the rest, we will need to clear not only the down payment request, but also the down payment itself. So we navigate to the application called clear outgoing payments manual clearing. Select this one. Now select your company code and also the supplier itself. And then here in the line item type, we will select down payment and then click on go. Here you can see that one entry was found. Let's inspect this one. And we can see that we can clear the 10 euro. So let's click on clear for the allocated amount. We will say 10. And that's it. The balance is now green, so we can click on post. You can see one journal entry was created. We can display it. And here we can see what the system posted. Also over here, we can see all the related documents. So far, so good. Now the last step is to actually pay the remaining amount. Therefore, we go to manage automatic payments again. Click on create parameter, insert an identification, click on create. Now the company code, our next payment date, the payment methods, and also we restrict for our supplier, additional log set to on, and that's it. Click on save, schedule, proposal, and schedule. Now we inspect the proposal, click on the details. And over here we can see that in the end, we only need to pay 109 as we paid 10 in advance already. If we execute the payment run now, let's go back and back again, select the item, schedule payment and schedule. Then this means that the remaining amount will now be paid. The payments were posted, so inspect the details. And here we can see 109 euro were paid. Let's now, as a last step, inspect the whole process flow again. Let's go to display process flow accounts payable. We select purchase order, insert our purchase order number, hit on go. And here we can inspect all the documents that were posted. Starting with our purchase order, then scrolling down a bit where we can find our goods received and invoice received. And also here in the accounting section, the down payment request as well as the real down payment we posted and then the automatic clearing of the down payment request as well as the manual clearing we have done via the application to clear outgoing payments. Okay, this marks the end of the video. It took a lot of effort, so I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon where I post lots of configuration documents. You can find a link in my bio. Thanks a lot and see you next time.